guys, welcome back to the Mini Mini Society. I'm Adeline. I'm Penny. And we're both really excited to be sharing with you a brand new series that we'll be rolling out, showing you our past projects for the past few years. Yep, so today we're going to talk about 30 different kitchens and how you can effectively achieve the look and hopefully that can boost you in the right direction in designing a nice kitchen for your future home. So if you haven't already, subscribe if you'd like to see more of our contents. So for our first kitchen, we have Mira East. And you can see this kitchen is uh, quite a small kitchen with an L-shaped layout and a tall unit. Yeah, and one thing that's very obvious about this kitchen is, is the, the backing. backing. Yeah. Okay, so the backing looks really accented. Wait, is that the worktop? Is that the same, yeah. same material? It is. Oh. So it's the same material, the worktop and the backing. So it has this look of continuity. So this looks like a very scandy theme by using the darker wood accents. Okay, what's next? Next, we have a kitchen at Robertson Edge. Mm. Oh, this looks much smaller than the previous kitchen. Yeah, and the reason for that is because this is actually a two-bedder condo. Wow, this kitchen really has like this cafe vibe with a bar table and especially with the blackboard at the back. So a bar table like this really works well in a small space because, you know, uh, when you're not using it to prepare for food, you can actually use it to entertain and also have a extra eating space without having to buy a dining table. And maybe it will actually push you to eat your breakfast in the morning. <laughs> maybe. Alright, next we have a modern scandy theme. This is at Jalan Tenteram. Mm, so this yeah. kitchen, it looks very modern. I think it's because of the matte black uh, mm. cabinets and also the dark wood uh, worktop. Yeah, so actually the dark wood worktop is compact and compact has this profile that is also black in colour which I think matches the so bottom cabinet. So it looks cabinet. similar. Yeah, uh, so it looks like it's part of the bottom cabinet. It looks like one whole piece. And also in this kitchen, they actually have eight. Correct. Oh, okay. They have eight sockets, yeah. Okay. So uh, it's very important to have enough sockets in your kitchen. So because uh, if you don't have enough sockets, what happens? You use extension cords. Oh, then it's like easily trip la. Yeah, and okay. it's ugly. Yeah. So it's very important to know what appliances you'll be using every day. Like for example, rice yeah. cooker, uh. coffee machine. Yeah. Okay. Kettle, okay. Things like that. Hmm. All right. Moving on to the next kitchen. This is a cake home clothes. So this is a double gallery kitchen. And it pairs uh, with dark wood tone yeah. with black backing. So yeah. there's this like white and black uh, contrast. contrast. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I think the wood tone on mm. the cabinets really kind of adds a little bit like more breaks color. The, the monochrome look. Yeah. Uh, and also there's a LED lighting strip at the back. So when you turn this it on. This is below the white, the white top cabinet, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you turn it on, it looks very cozy and swanky. Nice. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> So this kitchen is from Chonjukang Central. This is by far one of the biggest kitchen that we've done. Yeah, because yeah. this is a resale home, a five-room flat at Chonjukang. So it looks really big. And so this L-shaped uh, kitchen is not only long, it's also wide. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same thing. <laughs> okay, so going with only two colours for the overall kitchen carpentry is really what helps to achieve the minimalist uh, aesthetics. Yeah, so the white colour uh, doors, they really bring out a lot. The white colour... <laughs> the solid white doors really allows the beautiful wood grains to really stand out. Yeah, so this kitchen is really very nice. It is. Next is a kitchen at the veranda which features foldable doors and also windows. So if you're someone who wants to be able to transform your kitchen into closed concept on some days and open concept for some days, this is the kitchen for you. So this kitchen is at Meadows at Pierce. So it's a very Muji inspired design. And look at the photo on the left. The lights are only on on one row and it looks so good already. Oh yeah, the picture on the right though. The island looks so inviting. Like if I were to be working from home, I would definitely see that. <laughs> and the orangey wood tone all around the kitchen. So it's like from the floor to the carpentry brings out the Japanese feel, like a very zen feel. Like. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, so this is a very nice kitchen to be working and in. And also, isn't this home the one that is featured in Osim Massage Chair? Yes, so what happened was, Osim, they actually saw the photo on the, on the left. And what they thought it is very in line with their th their branding of a uh, comfortable living. So they went to recce the place, make sure it's really so nice, not photoshopped. So in the end, they rented the place for two, 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 three, three days. days. Three days, yeah. So the next one is from Kebun Baru Court. Actually, it gives me like this cottage vibe, something old but treasured. 
But I guess it's because of the colours of the wood. Like it's more reddish. Mm. Yeah, so you can see that in this house there's a lot of wood elements, but everything goes very well together, even to the door. <laughs> like it's very calming the colour combination. Yeah. So if you're shopping for loose furniture, uh, you have to determine whether the wood that is used in the design, whether they are more yellowish or they are more reddish. Mm. That way you'll be able to allow Match all them the pretty wood. well. Uh. Yeah. yeah. Next we have a kitchen at Bedok South Horizon. So mm. this kitchen has a very pastel and soft look. I think it's because they use uh, light wood for the bottom cabinets and white on top. Yeah. So I guess the owners wanted like extra storage and countertop space and like to keep the kitchen an uh, open concept kitchen. Yeah, so they actually have an extra row of uh, bottom cabinets on the adjacent wall in the kitchen. So what's that like curved thing? Is it like a mini dog house? Yes, it is. So then why is there a socket inside? Okay, so the reason is the homeowners wanted a space for the dog, right? And they also wanted to put in the automated uh, feeding machine. Oh, so there I needs see. to be power for that. Okay, right? now it makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, the next one we have a kitchen from Commonwealth Clothes. So this is an all white kitchen and with some colour coming from the floor and the worktop. So basically it's to make the kitchen look more spacious and bright. So actually the owner continued the white theme with a white sink and white fridge, keeping the look very very consistent throughout. Yeah, so if you think this kitchen is too monotonous, remember that you can always add in colour with your appliances later on mm. and also some kitchenware to add a pop of colour. Next, we have a kitchen at Anchorville Crescent that features a single row of top and bottom cabinets and it's all white and with some warm tones coming from the compact worktop and backing. Oh, it's actually paired with a black kitchen island off the shelf, probably from IKEA. Mm -hmm. So the black kitchen island creates a stark contrast against the white cabinet, which like like you know sort of like modernized the kitchen, so like balance out the white and black. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. So the kitchen island worktop is the same color as the backing and the worktop as well. So even though it's off the shelf, it still looks like it's part of the kitchen. Maybe because of the floor also, because it's a, such a big area in the kitchen. So next kitchen we have from West Terra, mainly to focus on wood textures and the balance between white cabinets. So as you can see here, the worktop and the open shelves laminate look similar. So usually it's very hard to find the same tone for different materials. Yeah, so the owners are very lucky because yes. we carry them. I think this kitchen feels very tranquil and very calming because of the colours. Oh. It's very easy to the eyes. Yeah, I think the compact uh, backing was chosen to match the HDB tiles you see on the other side over here. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, so okay. that is the existing tiles that the HDB given. Yeah, and we matched it with the similar compact colour. Next is a kitchen at Waterway Sunray. So this kitchen is a semi-closed kitchen concept. It's totally closed. If oh, you totally close, close the swing door. Oh, yeah. yeah, but because it's half wall, half glass, and it's a glass swing door, it makes it look like it's semi-open. Oh. Yeah. So okay. having the glass uh, wall and the door, this allows more light to enter the kitchen and makes the kitchen brighter and bigger. Mm. So another kitchen here we have is in West Edge. Another way to make a kitchen brighter is by using reflective surface like glass backing. So the amount of natural light will immediately double by allowing sunlight to bounce off these reflective surfaces and in turn making the kitchen look brighter and bigger. Yeah. yeah. Next is an all-white kitchen at the Trezor. So this kitchen looks very bright and very airy because of the use of white colour. So in an all-white kitchen, you can add some greeneries and also uh, decorate with some uh, cutting boards. Those really nice one, the brown colour. Oh, those color. wood type. Yeah, and to add colour to this all-white kitchen. Mm. So maintaining an all-white kitchen can be very simple because an all-white kitchen allows you to see any dirt or stains very easily. Oh. So, so, once like, you, so like when you see a stain, you can just quickly wipe it off, right? Yes. So the stain doesn't actually stay there and, you know, what? do, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Our next house is at Sun Natura. So for this kitchen, we have a top and bottom cabinet uh, in baby blue colour. And the backing, we have it in compact. So it's a very light wood colour. So this neutral colour palette, like white, a little bit of grey, paired with light wood backing, gives the kitchen a simple, uncomplicated look that provides clarity. So the next kitchen we have is from a Sherwood condo. So for this condo, the kitchen is actually quite small, but we managed to do uh, three rows of kitchen cabinets. So one of it uh, has a full top and bottom cabinet, and the other one is actually a uh, two stretch of 
bottom cabinet with a tall unit. Mm. So from the second picture, you can actually tell that one or one row of the bottom cabinets is actually an island. So this island is with a recessed area also, so that you can also sit, uh, put some chairs there, and it can double up as a dining area. And at the same time, you can also use it as an extra countertop workspace. Mm. Oh wait, I remember this one. This is from Marceline Greenview. Oh, I really like the backing. See this black color backing. It has a very, hmm, very strong contrast with the rest of the kitchen. And I like how the black backing actually uh, matches the black frame of the half or half glass as well. Oh yeah, 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 it's yeah, really yeah. Nice. So and it also contrasts with the white wall and the light wooden cabinet doors. Yeah, yeah. So these contrasting colors creates a visual interest and gives the kitchen a classy and sleek look. Mm -hmm. And like the half or half glass partition actually allows plenty of light to like actually enter the kitchen even though it's dark. Yeah, even it, though it's dark yeah. colour, but the kitchen doesn't feel dark. Yeah, it's actually a brighter and more spacious. Moving on to the next one, it's a Macpherson Spring. So the first thing that caught my eye was the yellowish wood tone. So it's rare that people would want to use this, but with like proper colour matching, this colour will pop out uh, like this picture here. So look at how gorgeous the colour is against the green tone glass backing. And the countertop is quartz here, which allows the sunlight to bounce on it. So it, like, it like reflects, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Next is a kitchen at Haokang Avenue. I really like this kitchen because of the grey walls and the white uh, kitchen cabinets. So they actually use quartz for the worktop up to the backing as well. And also for the kitchen cabinet doors, they also use a glossy laminate. So it looks as if it's one whole piece. And that latch at the top, at the end of the backing, mm -hmm. is actually a great addition to allow you to put some small items that you need for the kitchen as well. Mm -hmm. Ooh, pretty pink! Yeah, it's from Clementi Crest. So it's a light pink kitchen, very cute. Mm -hmm. And this one comes with an island together too. So really smart to have reflective backing and countertop, especially with a matte solid laminate. Mm. So basically the light bounces off the material and makes it more alive. And also with this kitchen, they have went for a quartz a worktop that mm. has very nice details on it. And I really like that. It's very simple, very Something subtle. Something like our office here. Yeah, it's very <laughs> simple, very subtle but very beautiful. Oh, now we have a blue kitchen. So this is at Alka Flick View. Once you enter the door, you can actually see the kitchen already. So this kitchen, there is two rows of bottom cabinets. At the end of the second row of bottom cabinets, you realise there is actually a slot at the end. So that is actually for the microwave. Oh, the, this small cut out here at the end? Yeah. The, so, first, the first picture. Yeah, so okay. that's where the microwave will go. And also at the second row, at the other side of the bottom cabinets, it's actually like an island as well. So with the worktop that is extended out, so that you can see it Is and that like legs. curved edge? Yes, this is to make sure you don't bump into it, you know, have sharp edge at the end. Yeah, so these protective measures. Okay. <laughs> Next is a kitchen at Amokyo Court. I really love this kitchen. It has a very cafe vibe. It looks really calming and very zen-like. So for this house, they actually have just a single row cabinet like this because for them, they don't cook much. Oh, so they have makes sense. Yeah, so they have actually dedicated a small area which normally people will build uh, kitchen cabinets all across. But for them, they have dedicated that space into a dining area instead. So it frees up rest of the house for other activities. Oh. Mm, and also in this home, you see, having that area uh, dedicated for a dining space, right? That means there will be exposed gas piping, which usually uh, people consider it with uh, just white paint. But for them, we have actually boxed up and also added a ledge to conceal the gas pipes underneath. Mm. And we added two more shelvings to, you know, tie the whole look together and also which also gives them extra space to put knickknacks oh, and yeah. decorate the hot kitchen. So this next U-shaped kitchen is in Marine Meadows. It's pretty huge. The top cabinet looks like it's only L-shaped, while the bottom is the one with the U-shape. So you see that above the sink area is a window that they covered with blinds to control the sun. So that's something to take note of. I know some people leave the window open and allow the sun to glare in sharply, which might not be good for the eyes in the long run. So for this house, we actually have a house tour video on our TikTok page. So just go to our TikTok and search The Minimalist Society for this house tour. Adeline, do you know where Costa Rica is at? Where? Huh? Pasir Ris ah? That's right! <laughs> Very smart. Comedy is subjective. Right, so for this kitchen, there's actually two rows of bottom cabinets only. So they went without the top cabinets, which really 
makes the whole kitchen feel bigger. On one side of the kitchen, there's actually no backing at all. It's just paint. And then the other side, we have herringbone tiles for a nice feature. So this next house we have is Matilda Court. So this white tile kitchen adds clean and structured lines to the space against the colour palette. Actually making the kitchen look a bit cute. Yeah, it yeah. does. So there's actually a story behind the top uh, shelving unit. Mm -hmm. right? So what happened was the homeowner came to our office that time when we were shifting office. Mm -hmm. So the our cabinets unit, they were without doors. And she actually really liked the internal structure of the cabinets. So she thought of having that for her own home. Yeah, so that really allows her to really display the her collections of kitchenware. Really a unique choice because eh? usually our homeowners will really want to have doors to cover up. Yeah. So for her to actually open up is very daring lah. Yeah. La. Next we have a kitchen at Pongo Residences. So this kitchen is a bit more narrow compared to many of the other kitchens that we have seen. So what we have done to make this kitchen less uh, constricted by its layout is that we actually hacked down uh, the wall and created it into a half wall half glass so that more light can actually enter into the kitchen from the living room. So it actually looks brighter and more comfortable to work in. Ah, so actually there's also plenty of storage and using the cove lights as lighting for the kitchen uh, it actually ensures that the kitchen space is bright and easy on the eyes. So the light wood against the white walls is honestly a very timeless combination, making the kitchen look warm and clean and very very simple. Right? So our final home will be Monte Blue. So I think what really stands out in this kitchen are those wooden spotlights. It emphasizes the kitchen island and making it a great table to socialize with whoever is cooking in the kitchen. And the black fridge and the dark wooden countertop also gives the kitchen a very modern look as well. So this is softened by the wooden tones that is being used in the kitchen and creates a really nice and cohesive kitchen look. Mm. And those are the 30 different kitchen styles that we have. Even though the kitchen looks different, they don't stray from the fundamentals of minimalism, which is having a clean, spacious, uncluttered, all while being a functional kitchen. So which was your favourite kitchen? Comment down below and let us know. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos like this. Thank, Thank you for watching! watching. Bye! Bye.